I came across an interesting collectible that will definitely be of interest to fans of Assassin's Creed a replica of the hidden blade that was worn by fan favorite Ezio Auditore. This model is very realistic and consists of two parts that can be connected to each other. It also comes in one size, but has adjustable straps for a more comfortable fit. The blade is a really cool replica of the iconic weapon and is sure to please fans of the series. However, as with other collectibles, it's important to remember that this is not a toy and should be handled with care. It's great that the adjustable straps make it more comfortable to wear, but it's important to make sure that it's securely fastened to avoid any accidents. Overall, I think that the replica of the Hidden Blade is a really interesting and fun collectible for fans of Assassin's Creed. However, I do think that the price point of about $170 is quite high, especially for a replica of a single weapon from the game. That being said, for dedicated fans, it could be a worthwhile investment to add to their collection. It's fascinating how technology is revolutionizing the way we interact with everyday objects. The Capstone Smart Mirror Wardrobe is a perfect example of this innovation. The idea of having a mirror that doubles up as a virtual assistant is both exciting and convenient. With its smart system, users can access a wide range of features, from checking emails to watching videos, and even listening to music. The fashion guides and beauty tutorials that come with it are also a great addition for anyone looking to up their fashion game. The mirror's compatibility with smartphones and connectivity to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are also commendable. However, the price tag of $800 might be a bit steep for some people. Nonetheless, it's an excellent investment for anyone looking to add some smart features to their home. Something really interesting for anime lovers, a replica of the gun from the Psychopath series called the Cerebo Dominator. This device is an exact replica of the gun shown in the series and was created by specialists from the Japanese company, Cereva. The Cerevo Dominator is a really impressive piece of technology that boasts a lot of elaborate details and bright, realistic backlighting. According to the manufacturer, the model has characteristics that are identical to the devices featured in the Psychopath series. For example, it unfolds automatically, has voice and sound effects, and even has a touch activation sensor and a crime coefficient score readout. As a fan of the series, I can imagine how cool it would be to have a collectible like the Cerevo Dominator. It would really make me feel like a part of the world that I love. However, I do have some concerns about the price. The Cerevo Dominator costs almost $800, which is quite a lot of money for a collectible. Overall, I think that the Cerevo Dominator is a really cool piece of technology that would make any Psychopath fan very happy. However, it's important to keep in mind that it's a collectible and not a toy, so it should be handled with care. Additionally, a high price point may be a barrier for some collectors. A replica of the Golden Gun from the ninth James Bond film. Even though the film came out in 1974, the collectible model of the gun is still very popular among many fans of the franchise. Just like in the film, this gun is made up of several separate parts that you can manually assemble into a pistol. The grip, as well as the trigger, form a cigarette case, while the lighter unfolds and turns into the muzzle, which in turn connects to the grip. The remaining two parts are a pen and a cufflink. Thus, the assembly takes literally a few minutes after which you have a functioning collectible toy that can even be loaded with golden bullets. This model was created by factory end specialists after a long and painstaking study of the weapon for the movie. The gun is made of high-quality metal and covered with real 18-karat gold, which gives it a really luxurious look. I think that the replica of the golden gun is a really cool collectible. It's amazing that you can actually assemble the gun yourself and feel like a secret agent. However, just like the Cerevo Dominator, a high price point of at least $800 may be a barrier for some collectors. Overall, I think that the Golden Gun is a really interesting collectible for fans of James Bond and firearms. However, it's important to keep in mind that it's a collectible and not a toy, so it should be handled with care. Additionally, the high price point may make it difficult for some collectors to justify the purchase.
Jest is a revolutionary new product that's changing the way we interact with our computers and smartphones. Traditional mouse devices and keyboards are outdated and Jest has developed an amazing glove that attaches to the palm of your hand with a strap and sticks to your fingers. When the device is turned on, all programs start reacting to gestures which are simple and intuitive. The glove allows you to control different elements in programs like Photoshop, adjust the music, and even type without a keyboard. With great typing skills, it's easy to type on the virtual keyboard. This device was inspired by the movie Minority Report which was released in 2002. The idea of controlling your computer with hand gestures is now a reality and Jest has made it possible. This is an exciting new product that's worth checking out for anyone who wants to take their computer interaction to the next level. Have you ever heard of an electric unicycle? The Kingsong S20 Eagle, developed in China, is a product that stands out not only for its sleek design but also for its impressive technical features. It boasts a range of up to 124 miles and a top speed of 43 miles per hour. One of the most interesting features is its adaptive suspension with a 5-inch travel, allowing for a smooth ride on various terrains. The exterior design of the unicycle is aggressive, reminding us of an expensive sports car. However, with a price tag of about $3,100, it's not for everyone. Nevertheless, it's exciting to see the advancements in personal electric vehicles, and the Kingsong S20 Eagle is certainly an impressive addition to the market. Did you know that Nerf, the popular toy brand, was founded in 1969 but didn't release their first blaster until 1989? Now, they generate a whopping $400 million in revenue per year. And it's no surprise, considering they create awesome models like the Nerf LMTD Destiny Jiller Horn Blaster. This blaster is a replica of a weapon from the popular video game Destiny, and the attention to detail is impressive. The toy is 1 to 1 scale, standing at around 4 feet long. It requires special new Nerf Mega Darts and two AA batteries to operate. What's even cooler is that those who pre-ordered the blaster on the Destiny developer's website received some nice in-game gifts as well. The price of the blaster is $185, which might seem a bit steep for a toy, but for avid fans of the game or collectors, it's worth it. The Nerf LMTD Destiny Jillerhorn Blaster is an exciting addition to any Nerf collection or fan of the video game. It's a great example of how toys and pop culture can intersect to create something really unique and enjoyable. Inspired by the movie Total Recall, this smart strap can be used with a regular or smart watch and allows the user to hear the other party by simply placing a feeder on their ear. This might seem like magic, but it's actually a smart technology that sends vibrations to the hand which turn into sound when they reach the ear. Privacy is a key advantage of this device, as only the user can hear the sound. Additionally, it offers new possibilities such as the ability to hear your interlocutor clearly even in a noisy environment. The developers at Anominal Lab decided to promote their project through a crowdfunding site, and you can purchase the smart strap for around $150. Personally, I think SGNL is an interesting and innovative device. It addresses a common problem and offers a unique solution. The privacy aspect is particularly appealing, as it allows users to take calls discreetly in public. However, it remains to be seen whether this device will catch on and become widely adopted. It may appeal more to early adopters and tech enthusiasts rather than the average consumer. Nonetheless, it's exciting to see technology continue to push the boundaries and offer new possibilities. Sony is a brand that has long been synonymous with high-quality music gadgets, and the Sony SRS NS7 speaker is no exception. What sets this speaker apart is its unique ability to analyze the shape of your ears to create a personalized virtual Dolby Atmos sound field that's tailored to your specific hearing profile. This speaker offers an impressive 6 watts of power and can last up to 12 hours on a single charge, making it ideal for both quiet movie nights and intense virtual battles. 
Additionally, the flexible neckband ensures a comfortable fit for extended use. The price of $162 seems reasonable for a gadget that offers such a high level of personalization and advanced technology. Overall, the Sony SRS NS7 speaker is an excellent choice for anyone who values great sound quality and a personalized listening experience. I came across this interesting piece of information about the Starglow Saber, and I'd love to share it with you. As you may know, lightsabers are the iconic weapons of the Jedi from the Star Wars franchise. While it's hard to say when technology will advance to the point of creating real lightsabers, engineers and enthusiasts have attempted to recreate them over the years. One such example is the Starglow Saber, which is considered to be the most realistic lightsaber ever created. This impressive piece of technology was developed by an American engineer named Michael Polly. The handle of the Starglow Saber is made of metal and is an exact replica of the weapon we saw in the Star Wars saga. To activate the Starglow Saber, all you have to do is press a button to release a thin colored flame that mimics the appearance of a lightsaber. It's truly a sight to behold. However, it's important to keep in mind that the Starglow Saber is more of a collectible than a toy, and the open flame can be dangerous if not handled with care. Personally, I find the idea of a realistic lightsaber to be really cool, especially as a fan of the Star Wars franchise. However, I do have some concerns about the safety aspect of it. While it's great to have a collectible that looks and feels like a real lightsaber, it's important to handle it with caution and not let children play with it unsupervised. Oh, and one more thing, the Starglow Saber doesn't come cheap. The price starts at $189, so it's definitely an investment for serious collectors.